Welcome back to another episode of Behind the Bar, brought to you by At the Bar Podcast. As usual, I am Mike. We are here at World of Beer UCF for another tasting of Preston's Home Brews. And with me, more famous than last week, quoting the other guys, we have Jeff. Dirty Mike and the boys are here. We're ready to roll. We're here. So we have a special guest coming. He's famous. He's been on TV. He's green. We'll wait till he comes back. See, he's trying to find a glass. But <laughs> in the meantime, he also used to star in a sitcom. Too. Was, the, was it, he in a sitcom? Well, I mean, it ain't easy being green, but he also <laughs> was in Everybody Loves Raymond. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Because he has the, the Ray Romano as oh, well. Yeah. Oh, he does sound like Ray Romano. And that's Kermit. who it was. Yeah. And Kermit. He pulls it oh. off. All right. So we'll, he's, he's floating around. He'll come back in a second. But. We have two more beers that we're going to try, and this is we're finally getting into weird beers. Weird beers. So a lot of people gave us flack for, oh, what the hell is a weird beer? Is bourbon cider weird? No. Weird beers. Whale balls. Whale balls and, <laughs> and sheep dung is weird. But our definition of weird beers is beers that are brewed with unconventional ingredients or ingredients that may not correlate with the style. For example, half a dogfish heads are weird beers. Their yeah. teacher beer is fucking weird. Mm-hmm. Almost anything Dogfish doesn't put out that's not 90 minute or any of the minute beers, is, I would classify as weird. They like to change it up. I like to change it. And that's why I love Dogfish. That's why they're the shit. Uh, Funky Buddha does a couple weird weird beers that yeah. kind of pan out. Their Neapolitan is a weird beer. Tastes like chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry ice cream. Their sweet All potato casserole. Sweet potato casserole would be a weird delicious. beer. Excuse me. Would be a weird beer. So anything that's, that makes you go, really? That in a beer? It would be a weird beer. So, while uh, I don't know, what's taking him so long? I don't know. So we have we have two beers. We have two beers this episode, Jeff. One of them I'm very excited about. One of them I've had for a while <laughs> from my home state, my home state of New Jersey. It's uh, their Wild Rice Double IPA by Flying Fish. Here he comes. He finally got a glass. Our third host filling in for David Boston, who's always on the show. Are you ready? You got, you got, you got, you got, you got, hello, Mike, how are you doing today? <laughs> it's nice to be with you. Well, the Jeff's here too. Yeah, but I don't give a shit about that guy. <laughs> I see him every day. <laughs> <laughs> so just to fill you in, Thomas, Kermit, Ray Romano. <laughs> Ray Romano? Where's that coming? You sound just like Ray Romano. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> yeah. It's a compliment. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Ray Romano, Kermit, I got it all, I guess. So we have, we have two weird beers. Okay. Uh, weird beers is, uh, like I had just said, is pretty much anything that makes you question how the fuck they, they did that. Like Funky Buddha, Sweet Potato Casserole. Okay. That's weird. My favorite ha- brewery. Half a, half a Dogfish has weird beer. It's just like, what the fuck is that? Chalk Lobster. Yep. Weird beer. That is a weird beer. Yeah, Good example. weird beer. So the first one we have, because I'm not doing the, I'm not doing the other one first, because that's going to ruin my taste buds. It's flying. <laughs> Should we not do the other one first? No. That we one will the, be. We might need to wash that down with something. I'll test it. I'll be the, the brave. You want to do the other one first? That's the one I'm excited about. But we'll do this. We'll one do this first. one first. This yeah. was. This is uh, my home state of New Jersey. It's Exit 16. It's Flying Fish's Wild Rice Double IPA, which I think would be a weird beer. Like, what the fuck is Wild Rice? I don't know. But we're gonna find out. Are you nervous, Thomas? No. I just want to let you know that. I like how like calculated <laughs> you are with your answers. Uh, no, no, I'm not. Well, Here's that's mine. A really light golden color. That's really light. Yeah. What the fuck is wild rice though? What is wild rice? Thank you, Jeff. How about the square? Yes, you can. Oh yeah. Is this PG-13 or is no, this? Oh, this is, this is, is podcast. Totally this is NC-17. Yeah, okay. we're not regulated. All right, cool. If somebody's swearing a lot, though, tell them to watch their fucking mouth. <laughs> Jeff, there you go. I just wasn't sure. Exactly I'll put that there. It's your show, so I'm trying to. It's, it's our show. It's our show. Yeah. Do you guys have sediment in yours, or is mine just the back end? Yours might be the back end. I Look have, at that. I got a lot. Floating around it? I'm happy oh, with this. I got sediment in it for sure. Oh, yeah. Thomas has a lot, and then. I don't have any. You don't I was have the any. first. You were the first poor. We got so, real, do you want to mix rice. them all together so everybody gets a little sediment, or do you not? I, I can care fucking less, honestly. This is the wild rice. That dip smuggler sediment was worth it, so. Did you see that? It came yeah. in like half the bottles. It was good. It was delicious as fuck. So you guys got it too? All right, side note, because yeah. I bought mine from Total Wine, and I it was sediment as fuck. No, yeah, yeah well, bought- yours had the most sediment I saw out of any of them, but mine, I had, 
I, I, well, Thomas has had like 50 of them since they came out. <laughs> I've got two cases and a 64 ounce growler from Total Wine. Oh my God. I, I had like four of them this year, and three of them had a pretty good amount of sediment in them, and, and it tastes great. I mean, yeah. it tasted as good. I as didn't the drink other it. Ones. Fuck that. I was, I'm not drinking that I shit. I like sediment in beers. All right. Well, anyway. That's a good so thing. It's, I, it's, you gave me the right one. <laughs> yeah, all right. Good. Mine, mine looks like it's half solid. So it's it's <laughs> it's somehow it's, there's sediment. I don't know. I don't know how a double IPA gets sediment in it, but whatever. We're just gonna go with it. Cheers, boys. Cheers. So right. color. Real light. Real super light. Golden. Looks looks almost like a Bud Light. I was gonna say Pilsner. Yeah. Pilsner, yeah. So as nose Thomas is, goes for it. Nose is real. <laughs> I smelled it. Nose is real, like hoppy, but not in your face. Yeah, it's, it's very light for a double IPA. Yeah, that's not really I mean, bad. double IPA is like Pliny, it's Heady Topper, mm -hmm. so it's like it's very light for it's the nose. Yeah, there's not weird. It's dry finish almost. It's not as bitter as I'd expect it to be for a double IPA. It's like a rice wine. I don't. It tastes like an IPA to me. Like you don't a like IPAs, IPA, right? Though, not so. a double IPA. Like, I don't know. It's it's hoppy, but it's not I actually. I like it a lot. It's good. But, it's an easy drink. But it was a little, it's a little disappointing. I mean, I don't know what you guys you guys have more sediment than I do, but mine's mine's tastes like mine a, a tastes, sixty well, minute. Mine tastes grainy, but I can like actually taste this, like feel the sediment when oh. I in the in the finish. My mouth is left with it on my tongue, but it's very. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> It's very you guys malty. are so cute. <laughs> yeah. This is what we do all day. We're yeah. the biggest dorks alive. Hey, Jeff, show me your tongue. <laughs> oh, there it is. Um, <laughs> there it is. We uh, Mine, I mean, it's it's very malty, and I don't have that crazy bitter finish. It's like it makes my mouth salivate a lot, which usually IPAs yeah. dry out my mouth. Right. Um, I, I feel like it's it has a very full mouth feel and, and super malty finish. And I, I do kind of get like... Not a sake taste, not at all, but like that tiny little bit of it in the back end that yeah. kind of has that little like twinge that you get when you yeah. take a shot of sake. I yeah. kind of get that. I mean, it's, that's what sake is, right? It's a form of, of like it's a, a rice, rice wine. wine. Yeah. yeah. I could, I get, I could get it towards the back end too. Uh, it's not. I mean, it's not bad by any means. No, it's it's a good it's kind beer. Of, it's it's a good beer. It's plain. I don't like double IPAs, but it's I could plain. drink this. But I mean, then again, it's kind of like is it like for a double IPA? It's not usually I'm used to. There's more a lot IPAs. more double right. IPAs yeah. that I would prefer. Over. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Like Heady Topper. And Lagunitas Maximus. Lagunitas Maximus, the best one. <laughs> yeah, the best one. Dogfish ninety. Or well, we were doing last last episode. We were doing the scale of one to ten on these. What yeah. would you give this guy? Uh, not see with scales. I try not to include style in it, just personal preference. I'd probably give this probably like a, a 7.2, 7 7.2. Okay, now if it were including style in it. 7.7. 7. It gets it gets better with style. Well, yeah, you limit your But it, it's still it's still not I don't think that's B level. It's not it's not B level. And it's not D level. Right. I think it's an average double IPA like you're not going to get blown away by it. But it's not it's not, you know, it's not funky, it's not overcarbonated. Sediment could just be the fact that it just wasn't shaken. It doesn't shaken. smell enough like dirty socks yeah. for me to be really excited about it. <laughs> yeah. That's what double IPAs smell like. They smell true, like though. sweaty That's socks. True. Yeah, <laughs> some of them too, yeah. Like, yeah. And then those are the best ones. <laughs> <Somehow>. <laughs> the, I don't know. The gym socks. The ones that kind of smell like your hamper and you're like, oh, man, <laughs> this is weird. And then you taste it. You're like, yeah. never mind. That's real good. I don't get it. Yeah, if I was to like blind taste test this, I would not guess double IPA. No, I would have guessed... I would guess Pilsner. I would lean almost. towards the Pilsner, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's super light and, and. It's light and like it's just that. It only has a small tinge of, of hot bitterness at all. Yeah. I always think this would be more of a Pilsner than a double IPA. You think personally. They know of the, what, a not double IPA is actually? It's a double Pilsner. It's a double Pilsner. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, that's, by the way, 8.2%. What? Yeah. Really? All right, so right here on the right side. Now. All right, I'm going to give it a 9 because of uh, ABV. <laughs> ABV yeah, to ABV you can give it an eight point two because it's an eight point two. <laughs> a, 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 no, for ABV. drinkability and ABV, yeah, yeah, that's a good balance of a, a high yeah. ABV. That's real light. We're just we were just saying it tastes like a pilsner and it's eight point two. Eight point two percent. So that technically that's, that maybe raised my opinion of it a little bit. Uh, let's see. I'm I'm reading it. They dry hop it with chinook and citra. A nose that hints. Of course, I don't read this shit beforehand because I'm unprepared. Because <laughs> uh, I'm so excited to drink it, I don't fucking read it. Uh, it says a nose that hints of tangerine, mango, papaya, and pine. 
I get none of those. I got I got pine. pine. Well, that's just because of the a lot style. Of pine. Yeah, right. I didn't get any mango or papaya or. I don't even know what no, the fuck papaya well, smells like. They don't know what <laughs> they don't know what mango is like up there in New Jersey. Hey, come down here you're off the Florida. show. You're dead. They gotta come down here to Florida and see what fruity yeah, IPAs. All they do is there's gym tan and laundry like. up there. <laughs> you're off the show too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, double doubles are what nine or higher. Eight. Eight. So eight. Well, you would classify eight as a well, double no, IPA. Technically, an imperial would be anything. It's double the ingredients. So. Right. That's technically what it would be is double of all the ingredients, but it's not, it doesn't necessarily mean ABV doubles or anything like that. As far as the WOB, what we call Imperials here, yeah, it would be anything over 8% alcohol. Really? I thought it was nine was classified as a double. It might have to change soon because like your average ass regular IPA is like seven, two now. So, I mean, if, if I'll have to look it up now, not, but assuming nine is a double, that's low on APV then, and that's an eight point two. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean it drinks great. Technically qualifies to me. And it drinks standards. great for an eight point two. Nobody else is blown away by this, right? Can I finish no. this? Yeah. Because I want to see how much sediment I get right now. Okay, Where'd you go get for it from. Uh, Total Wine. Total Wine, okay. A couple months ago. I love Total Wine. It's been sitting in the fridge, so it's not like it's uh, bad. Look at that one now. Yeah. It's so just, much sediment, it's hazy. Looks like a hefeweizen. Let, mm. well, let me get some of that shit. God, we're the weirdest people, Thomas. Right. I'm going to have more of, of last episode's beer, the gingerbread. Ooh. We're doing doubles today. How do you still have that? That was a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's still good. It's a little warm. We got warm, but that gingerbread's still solid. Get a little more of it. Go for it. Thank you. Kinda... Just fucking oh, drink. See Just what fucking. Happens. Are you sick? Nope. You have AIDS? HIV? Uh, fucking drink from the bottle, man. Hep C, does that count? They're changing it now. That's just called, uh, what's his name? The Sheen? Yeah, it's the Sheen. You got the Sheen? Sheen. <laughs> you got the Charlie? <laughs> let's turn this Let's turn this podcast into something real offensive. <laughs> Start talking sure. about AIDS. <laughs> you got him? You got the Sheen? Got <laughs> the Sheen on my life. Mm. All right. I don't Y'all need to yeah. rinse it. I got some water here. So that was good. Uh, you would get what would you uh, give that, uh, Jeff? Great uh, grading. I was gonna wise. say a seven point two, but then ABV relative to flavor and mouthfeel, I have to bump it a little bit. I'd say it's like a seven five, and that's. I, I don't think it improves or goes. I just think it's 7.5, whether it's style-based or total-based. I mean, I would think I would have to change my – but I'm not I, – I, what, I said 7.2? I'd probably go like a 7.4, 7.5 maybe, just like with you. Yeah. It's like – It's not ABV matters, but it's like – Well, ABV it makes matters. It more, drink, more drinkable. It, ABV matters if that's your goal, if your goal is to get buzzed off it. But if, you were, if, if it's just for the appreciation of the beer, then ABV doesn't really matter that much. Right. Um, Thomas, what would you give that? Uh, uh, zero to ten with decimals. With decimals. Decimals. Oh, 6.66. Dude, that's messed up. That's Why messed is up, that messed man. up? It's the devil number. Yeah. yeah, I know, because it's... You might want to yeah. say the rating for the Poblano Wheat. Poblano Wheat. <laughs> okay. 6.67. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll round up. Okay. <laughs> now we can not go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> So next one is Oppress's Homebrew. I'm so dreading this one so bad. What is this? It's I'm the so Poblano excited about Wit. this one. So I, I went just to fill you in. Last week I talked, well, last week, last episode, which was 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, t- I went last month. I brew beer for the Deland Craft Beer Festival with my buddy Preston, who does a beer podcast in Tampa. So he gave me, this is his last, his one of three. So you, you had the Belgian and the gingerbread, and this were all his. So he brewed this Poblano wit, and he was like, it's not hot. Looking at me dead in the face, it's not hot. And his wife's like, oh, no. Like, I was sweating. It was so hot. Well, you know from previous episodes, one of my favorite beers is Sculpin. Ghostface Killer. Oh, Ghostface. <laughs> I almost bought it for you, so too. You know, I saw that total wine. So you know I'm going to love this. So this, is a spice, this beer has spices and shit? This has, yes. Poblano, I do Poblano not like peppers. spicy beers. <laughs> the worst are, like, chocolate spiced outs. Oh, God. Awful. I know that you love that. I know that's right up your alley, Jeff, but it's so. Uh. 
All right, so going off my pour, head's not there. It, it shows up, but then it, it fizzles away really yeah, fast. Yeah, it's almost. Oh, you got. Yeah, no, nope, and it's gone. Yeah, it, it pours. It pours like a cider. That's a pretty good comparison. There you go. Um, let me see if he has any notes for this one. Ooh, the nose is it? the nose is peppery. I like that. Oh God, I'm so nervous. Oh, no. We have to drink these at the same time. Don't All get right, ahead hold of me. on. All right. So, color it, wise, yeah. color wise, I wouldn't say traditional wit. It's a little bit darker. Preston's texting me right now. <laughs> it's a little bit darker. It's almost so. It's a wit Belgian, style. It's almost Belgian golden. Right. Yeah, it's cloudy. Is it wait? Is it a Belgian wit or is it just an, a, a wit? wit. Pablo wit. Poblano wit is what he told me. Okay, so it could be an American wheat. But. I'm not sure, but wit is was always is a European. Right. So, I mean, colors there. It's a little darker. At it's a little mine, darker mine's than a little white. Darker. Yeah. Uh, cloudy, which is on on point. Uh, I guess we can. What do you think, Thomas? Want to make it a marinade? What's that? Put hey, some burgers can make it in it. A marinade. Why not? We need a new chicken marinade because the one the corporate provides us yeah, stinks. We had a, <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Nobody liked it, so we stopped doing the you're marinade. You're entitled to your opinion. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we stopped doing the marinade. We tried a uh, unibrew marinade, actually, and got a lot more positive feedback from that. That's what matters. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, I think it was Blanche de Chambly they used to marinate it with. Yeah, so yeah. Let's, let's go on the nose here, God. Oh, help me. I'm so excited. I'm definitely cooking with I don't this. Really, I don't really get a whole lot of peppery. I do. You do? Oh, yeah. It doesn't smell Here's, too spicy. Smell mine. <laughs> Smell mine. It's clean. I oh yeah, you get it. You have it on yours. Why don't you have it? That's so weird. Know. Yeah, I think Jeff has a smell. That's all right. I've whatever. been rinsing out my glass every time. That's probably why. Ah, fuck it. Whatever. I'm pure. Hey, I rinsed my glass. <laughs> he said he's he's pure. I'm pure. I'm a purist. <laughs> all right. So cheers. Let's do it, God, guys. God help us all. I hope it's spicy. Yeah, it's got some spice. Oh, God. You can feel it in the back of the throat. <laughs> oh. That is so up my alley. It's not oh, even funny. Oh, God. That is no, delicious. This is hot. Oh, that's nothing like Ghostface Killer. Ghostface oh, Killer God. puts this thing puts things, this thing to bed. It's but still lingering. It is good. It's lingering. It's lingering. This would be amazing to cook with. Right in the back of the throat. Yep. Back of the tongue. Right. Oh, God. Put this back in the middle so you can give your opinion. All right. Back of the throat. Back of the tongue. <laughs> spicy. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Oof. It's hot. It's I not the think, hottest I've had. I don't think it's the hot and even close. I, it's not that I've had hotter. Like Billy's Chili's is unbearable. Uh, Billy's Chili's is like a third of Ghostface. I think this God. is spicier than Billy's Chili's. You think? I think. <laughs> I think. Uh, no, I think single Billy's jerk. Chili's is is like almost like a sweet pepper. No, I think Billy's Chili's is way hotter ever, but it's well, right. But that's, it's that's not my worst spicy. Beer. To me, it was unbearable. Like it was worse than this. And the, not saying this is bad. But in terms of spiciness, I've been trying to get into lately uh, Berliners again. I'm trying really hard. Sours? I just just no nope, Berliners in general. I'm okay. okay with sours. I just Berliners taste like like cheese, and I can't do them. And I've been trying so hard. We had a raspberry Berliner in like last week, right? And it literally tasted like raspberry cheese. And I was like, I can't do these beers. So they're so so awful. you don't like cheesy beer, but you like stinky sock beer. Because it's on the nose. I don't like the okay. nose on double IPAs, but I like okay. the taste of double IPAs. Is your is your throat still burning? No, I'm. I'm. If you guys don't want this, I'm gonna. I'll uh, no, I mean, I'm gonna. Beer. I'm gonna drink it, but. I'll, yeah. Well, I mean, I'll drink my glass. There's no beer that Thomas A. Bear doesn't finish. Catch <laughs> manager, pour the beer if you see it, Bear. <laughs> <laughs> You're now famous. Try our pretzel. <laughs> You're almost as famous as Val Kilmer. Almost. <laughs> almost, but not as famous as Jeff, though. No one could be famous as Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer so, is the epitome of acting. He is the best actor ever. Him and Keanu Reeves and Christian Slater. <laughs> the best I like three Slater's actors. resurgence, though. <laughs> he did. He did Mr. Robot. Oh, like my shirt. God. I'm wearing a Mr. Robot shirt. <laughs> oh, shit. That At, was a Slater resurgence. That's funny. He so also wait. is Slater and Archer. How can you hate that? I hate Christian Archer Slater. Vice? Archer. Yeah, it's Slater. Okay, because I haven't seen Archer Vice at all. I've only seen Archer. Agent Slater okay, is Christian Slater. Oh, so back to the beer, Christian Slater. <laughs> there's, there's Christian Slater uh, let's go. Let's go around the little table here, Jeff. Let's 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 go in depth here. It's a tan. 
You like you re- you like it that much? It's not a ten, but it is. It's I would give it a high B. I'm gonna give this one an eight point seven. Eight point seven. I love it. I think it is okay. genuinely, good, and I want to cook with it really bad. So would you? Th- do you think that's better than the gingerbread? Because that you gave yes. the gingerbread the same score. Yes, I do. So it's an eight point seven one. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's good. It's good. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, it's up there with the gingerbread. I, I, I again, I'm trying to separate the fact that it's a home brew and an unlabeled bottle. This right. it, I ordered a pepper beer, and got this beer. I would think it was great. I would think okay. that it was a, as good as I. I would not be upset about the money I spent on it. Really? Because I think it's really good. Really uh, interesting. Okay. I told you this is my style. Okay. Like, well, there good because I, I hate for spicy me, beer. This is it. I hate spicy beer a lot. I'm like starting to feel it in my stomach now. So you, this is you, this is a home run for you, Jeff. Yeah, which one is this? This? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's a home run. Absolute home run. Okay. Yep. Thomas, I know me and you are in sync on the on the fuck spicy beer. Got that right. But assuming not try try not to think of it as a homebrew, mm-hmm. which some homebrews are fucking better than regular shit, regular fucking beers. Oh yeah. But as being as objective as possible. What are, you, what are you what are you what are you thinking? Yeah, it's there. The poblano is there. Pepper's there. Definitely, it's spicy. I don't like spicy beers, but I'm gonna have to give this an eight. I mean, it's it's got a lot of flavor to it. It's good flavoring. I just don't like it. That's the only thing. I mean, so you, uh, you're me. You're a lot of the same. Of, of we would use it for a marinade or to cook. Exactly. With it. Yeah, I'm trying to be fair because you know I'm trying to just keep my don't bias like of not liking. Spi- well, the thing is, I just don't like spicy beers, but. As an overall product, I don't want to be biased towards it and right. towards the home brewer themselves just because I don't like spicy beers. You want beers. you to be honest. I am you, being you, honest. If you well, fucking hate it, say you fucking is, hate it. Well, I mean, I'm going to hate it regardless because I just don't like spicy beers, but I still think it's got a lot of good flavoring to okay. it, and it was a good okay. home brew. Okay, good. Solid. I think, I think that's actually a fair way to say it. If you don't like spicy beers, it's not that the beer is bad. That's The it's execution just, it's, of what this beer is right. is the reason I think it's a home run because right. this is his intention. Brewer's right. intent was this exact beer, right. and it came out exactly Perfect. as he wanted it yeah. to. So I think that's a home run. Yeah. I, I think he hit the nail on the head. Like like Thomas said, it's not my style. So I probably wouldn't buy it unless it was the only thing left. <laughs> but the flavor's there. I mean, it's. I like the fact it's really simple because some some Billy's Chili's put too much, and sometimes too much is. It was five. Yeah. But like sometimes Which with one like is it Obama. <laughs> sometimes with pepper beers, like they try to do too much, and it's like overwhelming. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. And it's just like a clusterfuck. But I like. I like it. Like the considering what it is. What is it like? Two brothers blueberry jalapeno. That one's just like. Ugh. Yeah, some of them have too much going on. Yeah, yeah. I'm interested to try the habanero sculpin. Mm. You've had it? Spicier than this? Yes. In fact, oh my God. you should ask me about my habanero sauce wings I made once that made Jeff shit his pants on the way home from work one day. You want to tell the story, <laughs> Jeff, or you want to save it for another time? This, hey, we're talking or about never. spicy beers. We're spicing right now. All right, story time, guys. Cue the music. It's true story. Jared Fogel. <laughs> I, have a whole, I have a whole write-up about it. Uh, I wrote it in a, a short story to a few of my coworkers to tell the whole story. Essentially, uh, the breakdown is that Thomas decided to use some fresh habaneros and um, every kind of spicy thing imaginable in the kitchen to make me the world's spiciest wings or world of beer spiciest wings. Ooh, that's hot. And I ate, right. I ate 20? Was it a 20 piece? No, 10 piece. And you like spicy things. I do like spicy things, okay. yeah. And I, I ate it and it was fine. I was at the bar and then all of a sudden my stomach starts turning about 20 minutes later. I'm like, all right, I'm going to get out of here. So I get in the car to go home. <laughs> Don't you just love you? You just leave whenever the fuck you want. Get like, out, I'm out well, of here. Well, it was, this was like at night and my shift was over. I was, <laughs> I'm out of here. My shift was over. I was having a beer and, and eating some wings at the bar okay. before I went home. So right, right, right. I'm like, all right, it's time for me to go. My stomach's starting to feel a little bit weird. I, I got a lot of heat in there. Yeah. Oh, you were complaining before you left. The I was like, <laughs> oh, who? I was starting to sweat a little bit, and they're hot, man. Hot damn. And uh, I get in the car, and I'm. Meanwhile, I'm on the phone with my boss. That's the best part. I'm on my fo- on my phone with my boss, driving home from work, and my stomach's just turning and turning, and <laughs> I'm sweating, and it's hurting so bad. And I'm like, I live I live downtown, so I live about 25 minutes away from here. Yeah. And I get about halfway home, and it's just like. <sighs> The line I used was, I'm sweating like Jared Fogel at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> like, that's in my little short right up. And I'm like, I'm, I, but I am, man. I'm yeah. so uncomfortable. It's a good story. I like hearing it again. So uncomfortable. So then another my quotes. stomach is, is just 
blowing up and it's like expanding and it's I feel like I'm gonna explode and I'm I think I just gotta let out a little fart. <laughs> that'll that'll make everything better. <laughs> and I tr- I trusted the fart and next thing you know it was just not a fart. <laughs> and I'm still like ten minutes from home and I'm like, all right, well it is what it is. I'm making it home. So I did it and I made it home. But it was just uh it was a good time. You violated man law. Do you know what's funny you about that? Is, apart. is I could have easily not told anybody that story and I came in the next day so proud. Uh, like, guys, you have to hear guys, this. Guess guess what? Story. I, I drove home for ten minutes and shit myself. I was like, Thomas's wings are legit. You, <laughs> legit. He, the best he still had like like a lot of that sauce left, right? <laughs> deemed it too dangerous for the kitchen and I took it home after that story. <laughs> you deemed it too dangerous. He, he still kitchen. had that sauce and I think you made it for somebody else after the story. I told my owner that story two days later. <laughs> he came in and Thomas was like, oh, tell him about the wings. Hey, hey, hey guess what? <laughs> and Bill started I dying. I shit for 10 minutes on the way home. <laughs> hey, Bill, ask Jeff about how I made him shit his pants. <laughs> Well, the thing is, like, you had those, you had those wings the night before, and you had no adverse reaction to them. So that's why the second night, I don't know what it is that set you off, but well, I made for a great story and great times. Great times. We that's so closer. funny. We grew closer as a staff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now that everyone knows. This is a defining moment in our friendship, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. When you shit your pants because of my wings. I won't make that into a shirt, sweating like Jared Fogle in a <laughs> cheese. <laughs> I read that in the text message. I lost it. <laughs> Just a Jeffism. <laughs> oh, look at all the little children. Just... All right, so. Back to beer. Back to beer. Jeff, home run. Thomas, you gave it an eight. I would give it an eight, too. Not my thing, but it's still solid for if you like pepper beer. Still good beer. It's just not my thing. Yeah, so Preston, you really, you really did a number, man. Yeah, actually, all three of your beers I gave in the eights, right? Except for, uh, I think yeah, you gave the, the Belgian a seven. Did I? Yeah. I changed it. It's an eight. <laughs> These are really good. I'm really a I'm week really... later. I changed my opinion on it. Yeah, because I was a week ago. <laughs> you sat on it and thought about <laughs> yeah. it on the way home. No, the Belgian. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, I I'm a I'm a huge. <laughs> wow, well played. That was a great play. That was a good pun. Um, no, I'm a hypocrite, and I just caught myself being a hypocrite. So I can't. Okay. I have to be fair to Preston because I actually did say on the last episode. I don't really like Belgians, so I'm gonna give it this. And then this week, Belgians I'm like, are overrated. And then this week, I'm like, no, you have to take the no. brewer's intent into it. Yeah. So I'm a hypocrite, and I'm sorry. I will give the Belgian a higher score because me not liking Belgians doesn't mean that he didn't nail it. Right. So Preston, awesome job, man. So any any, I'm so distracted with the story now, God. Bring Jeff diapers. <laughs> Anybody who sends me diapers with a return address, I'll send you a bomber. Okay. And I'll make some more wing sauce and send it to you. <laughs> Ooh, some of Ooh we'll send you some of Thomas's wing sauce as a we gift. We have an anniversary party with Thomas's wing sauce. <laughs> and do a live show. Also, anybody who sends weird beers, we're still accepting those. <laughs> yeah, that's, we're still accepting them. What's weird beer? We'll send you something cool back. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Some Maui Brewing toast, Toasted Coconut. Porter. I've got like a lot of cool stuff to give away here. We could make, you know what? We're gonna work on the. Stay tuned for a few episodes from now. We're gonna work we, on some dude, giveaway stuff. You guys, we uh, speaking of that, good, good, good segment here. We have a lot of cool shit happening, Thomas. That you're obviously gonna be a part of. Tell me more. I made some friends in the last episode, which was recorded 20 minutes ago. <laughs> you mean last week? You mean last week? Yeah. Uh, we haven't recorded anything in, in a while because of the holiday season, Christmas, New Year's. Uh, I graduated college. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ring that till it's fucking in the ground. Yeah. So I graduated, man. I'm an alumni now. Ooh. So since we well, weren't you recording, can't finish. I, I oh, this is the, fuck. This is they call you. I wear anything under my gown either. I finished. Oh, you went no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, since we weren't recording, I was networking. So we made we made a couple friends. Florida Beer Blog. Ooh. Shout out to him again. He does uh, reviews for beers, written reviews and stuff. And he's in South Florida, so he gets a lot of awesome F- South Florida be- oh, beers. So uh, we're working with him. We're going to do hopefully do a collaboration one day. Um, we met. I met a brewer at Two Henrys in Plant City who wants us to come and record from there, which is awesome. Their breweries. Have you been to their brewery? I've not been to the brewery. The only brewery I've ever been to is Cigar City, actually. We've got to go out to Two Henrys is legit. 
awesome, awesome brewery. Yeah. I want to do a show there really bad. Yeah, like they out do, on the patio with the fountain. I've never been there. I've had their beer, obviously, but they have a, they do beer and wine. Can we can plan it? Yeah, I want their Russian Imperial Stout to be on when we get out there, so okay. I can have nine of them. Okay, <laughs> who's driving? We'll figure it out. <laughs> Uber, Uber's gonna drive us all the way out to Tampa. <laughs> uh, but Preston, Preston, or yeah, or Preston will meet us. He wants to get in on that too, Henry. So absolutely. But coming up at World of Beer UCF, January twelfth, which should be right around the corner from when this releases, Red Cypress in Winter Springs is releasing having a release party here. Oh, brand new brewery, which is something I want to figure out how they hit distribution so fast. But they just opened like literally like four months ago. Yeah, I think five I, months ago, like less I heard about them. six months tops. Yeah. They're out in Winter Springs. We're having a release party here. And I've been talking with Ryan, the owner and brewmaster, and they want us to do a show out there too. As well as here. We could do both. They're having a release party, Thomas, on the 12th. You should be here. I probably will be here. Just might be behind uh, and, and the kitchen. Rumor has it we might be going to uh, the Buddha soon too. Funky? Yep. Take me. Oh, my God. Well, you're going for maple bacon, right, Kafka? You're bringing that back, right? Because I will pay you for a bottle or whatever you want because, unfortunately, I'm not able to make it. But Jeff still owes me a last snow, by the way. Oh, it's so good, man. It's so good. We'll, find, we'll figure it out. Just gonna, like, here, Jeff, here's a check for $200. Just bring back whatever, Funky Buddha. <laughs> bring back whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, we have, we have a lot of cool stuff coming in the new year, man. We're, we're going to be busy people, Jeff especially. I'm excited. Because I'm going to drag his ass out every Saturday. We're gonna go somewhere. Yeah, we still need to go. But we oh, no, I have to go to I have to go to Two Henrys and drink and film or and do a podcast. This is the worst Saturday ever. Yeah. We still need to do but Wegans too. But yeah, I've driven by there like a hundred times Cypress, since the last time you Red told Cypress me about it. We're gonna do but Wegans with Bobby. We're gonna do that. So we have a lot of cool shit coming up. On top of the regular content news, we have I have a pile of questions. We have to answer. Do we have a lot of questions? We have a lot, we have some, yeah. I want to wait for that. Was my favorite episode that we've done yet? Yeah, they were good. the The response to viewer questions was awesome. Yeah, they're really good. It was fun. Um, the Preston one, was the one who was tearing us apart. Now he's he was now ripping he's on our your team. guys as a new asshole. <laughs> he didn't like me. I don't think side hard side is made from concentrate. <laughs> it is. Not all of it. Most of it. We'll save it for we'll save, we'll save it for Preston when Preston is. shows up. You guys can have your little t- debate, but we have a lot of cool things coming out, guys. So you should definitely stay tuned. We've been busting our asses. Me, Jeff hasn't. He's just been drinking. I I, I just drink. That's, that's all I do. That's all he does. Thomas Went from Jeff from one Thursday, guys. I don't think I really worked today. No, you didn't. <laughs> True story. That, that happened <laughs> once, though. That happened one time. So yeah, come by World of Beer UCF and have Thomas make you uh, street tacos. No. <laughs> no, have me make you a pretzel because they're better. So tell us about the kitchen, man, while we're wrapping up here. What you guys got going on? How's the kitchen? You guys got some cool shit? Uh, uh, we, we know the pretzels cool are, are hot stuff. Pretzels are hot stuff. Burger, Burger night, night, yeah, last week. Burger night, finally, we saw a return on that. For the most part, our burger nights have been slow. $5 burgers plus side of tots, fries, or That's coleslaw. That's such a fucking good deal, it man. It is a good deal. It really the thing is. is we have good burgers, too. That's the thing. We don't, like real we don't use shitty quality meat. We have good, like, uh, 80 20 is yeah. the meat that we use for all you out there, meat fans. 820? 80 20. 80 20. So 80 percent That's right. Lean. Beef, lean beef, 20 yeah. percent fat. That's a good ratio. That is a good ratio. It's a good and ratio to live life by 80 20. That's juicy. Yeah. And for five dollars, can't beat it. Well, what? I think in hits you go ninety ten. Hits you go ninety ten, but in life you go eighty twenty. If no. you meet a girl that's eighty percent what you want, you should probably marry her. But if, that but is do true. I go eighty percent of the way and make her go twenty, or do I just go ninety? Well, would you listen to what Will Smith has to say about relationship advice? Oh what? no, it was oh, Kevin. It's, it's, J- you, uh, it's you or Will Smith. I'm listening to Will Smith. Just give her the full <laughs> hundred. <laughs> no, it was she wants. It was Kevin James that said no. It was Will Smith. It was Will Smith. Kissing 92, go 100%. Anyway. 100% tongue. So what, what, tell us about the kitchen. We haven't really talked to you, and you're the, you're the kitchen man, so. That's true. I am. Uh, well, now what specifically do you kitchen? want to know? I am bad with questions unless they're specific. What's the, what's, what would you recommend to somebody who hasn't been here for food? I mean, I guess you'd have to say the pretzel because it's our number one seller. It's the thing we're best known for, but 
other than that, I mean, flatbreads are pretty solid. I've been to other places before, not to throw. Or the the Reuben's, Reuben's pretty good, too. I'm not a fan of Reuben's, but our Reuben is good. Um, has the right balance of flavors. Your is fucking amazing. That's what I hear. I heard a coleslaw is amazing. Cause like, One of the cocktails tried to tell me it was over mayoed, and then that same cocktail had someone ask her for the recipe for it, so then I said, fuck you, cocktail. <laughs> My fucking coleslaw is amazing. Well, but, Wob's uh, recipe uh, that I just know how to read. Coleslaw is like very vinegary, but it's yeah. like, well, I don't know, I guess because you guys use mayo, mayo and, and whatnot. Well, mayo and like, is the base for the, the uh, slaw it's dressing. Just so, it's so good. Yeah, like yeah, the most apples dressing and obviously. stuff. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, apple, kale, coleslaw. Yeah, Drink really it good. in Wob. What would you say would be the least favorite thing on the menu? Uh, in terms of eating, not preparing, because Street Tacos wins every my time. Le- uh, <laughs> my least favorite thing or the least selling thing? Least, your, what's your least favorite thing? My least favorite thing would probably have to be tuna poke. Okay. I like tuna if it's tuna salad, but I don't like raw tuna. Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite thing on the menu? Favorite thing on the menu? Say pretzels, I swear to God. It's not going to be pretzels. <laughs> don't worry, because that's not my favorite thing. The favorite thing on the menu would probably have to be... Oh, broad sli- Yeah, you're right, broad sliders. <laughs> I do. Yeah, you're uh, right. Well, I was... I was trying to yeah, well, I was trying to think of some of the burger like maybe a burger. I'm like, well, all the burgers I make for myself aren't actually on the menu, so those don't count. But uh, hey, so hopefully the Wob Mexi burger come to a Wob near you. Double Wobber burger. There's also the Mexi burger. You never had that, right? The waffle burger that was good too. The breakfast burger with egg on it and bacon and fucking. All right, what's it? I got another yeah. question for you. What's a secret treasure on the menu? Something that's really good that people may not think is good. Ooh, hidden gem. Hidden gem. <laughs> Steak frites is pretty good, actually. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a little pricey. It's fifteen dollars, but I mean, you get a you get a good eight ounce steak. Uh, por- yeah, get broccoli free, with that. Fries. Poblano, dude. Garlic aioli. Can I it? Yes, please. Is this it? No. Yeah, we have a pretty good marinade for our steak. That's, no, that's that's oh. the gingerbread. That's the that this is the poblano there. So what'd you say? Hidden gem, probably steak frites. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, because the marinade for the steak, I think it's pretty simple. I mean, it's just olive oil, garlic, um, salt, and pepper. But it's a really good marinade. They have a real good balance of flavors. It makes the steak turn out really nice. And then fries and broccoli. Fry, yeah, fries, broccoli, a little bit of garlic aioli, some compound butter. Oh my God, it's so hot. Yeah, it is hot. Yeah. Go, go for it. You have the rest of the bottle, man. If you want, I'm oh. done. But yeah, man, come to. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, come to World of UCF and not have this. I need some water to chase this beer. Yeah. Do we have it? We have any? We have any events coming up? Jeff. Red Cypress. Red Cypress. That's it. So yeah, guys, come out January twelfth. We will all be here. I will be here. Jeff will probably be here because he works all the time. Thomas will definitely be here. I will. Um, for playoff football, it's going to be on both Saturday and Sunday for the next few weeks. Uh huh. There's two weeks where there's playoff football on Saturday and Sunday. First week. Thomas, of you January. watch sports? Yeah, from the kitchen. Yeah, okay, sports. Okay, well then, I'll listen to Jeff then. Anyway, <laughs> Saturday and Sunday, there's going to be playoff football. During the times of uh, playoff football, we do have a special for wings and fries. It's going to be $5 for five wings and a side of fries with it as well. It's not bad. Yeah. It's a good deal. And just come in and <laughs> eat as eat as many as you Thomas, want. I guess it's only know five about bucks, that. so you can come get it filled up on wings and fries and watch your games. It'll any be really wings? good. It's gonna be any of our any of our style wings, yeah. Okay. For uh, five five wings and French fries, five dollars. That'll be during the entire playoffs, including the Pro Bowl, even though that doesn't really count. But right. we're gonna count it because right. why not? Why not? Because it's football. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, yeah, we're doing that uh, all the way through. So the Pro Bowl is actually the last week of January. Yeah. Super Bowl's first week of February. We're doing the same thing. We're going to have a super, uh, sorry, not a Super Bowl party because we're not allowed to say that. A big game party. <laughs> uh, super Bowl's trademark. Because super Bowl's trademarked by the NFL. Yeah. We can retweet Super Bowl. The big game party. The big game party on, yeah. on February something. 7th, February, se- yeah. Sixth or seventh, whatever like, day yeah, it is. Yeah, it's that first weekend or whatever, yeah. Whatever Sunday is the first week of February. Yeah. And um, we'll, be, we'll be here doing the same thing. It'll be fun. Um, we're gonna work on having some having some good stuff for that as cool, well, man. doing doing some good things. So we got a whole month before that happens, but we'll be um, pushing it. We'll push whole, it out this whole month with your playoffs for the NFL. To come in, we got 15 TVs and plenty of room for you. So and lots of Thomas's famous hot sauce. Lots of wings. Ooh, can we do the hot sauce for that? 
I can whip some up. I'll just go to stop and get some habaneros and some poop your game pants over. Sauce. Yeah. We'll get some cool. Pants. <laughs> can we shit your pants wings? They're great. We we need to come up with a name for this sauce. Ooh, ooh, we have a beer. I what's the brewery? I forget. It's from uh, Louisville, Kentucky, and it's called the Brown Note Brown Ale. And it the oh. can art has a big old fat man in underwear pooping his pants on the can. Can we call that the Jeff special? Hold on, let me go get the can. <laughs> we gotta look at the okay. can. Okay, so Jeff's gonna get the can now. I think we should call it Happy Hour the Jeff special. <laughs> 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 Just have that on tap all the time, next to the Narragansett. Yeah, right. Uh, hey, Narragansett hey, will already make you shit your pants. Can I get the $5 pants? wings and the Jeff special? <laughs> <laughs> yes, here's your wings and here's a bucket of shit in. <laughs> in case there's shit. a line at the toilet. Yeah, because you could have Jeff's, or uh, you could Thomas's famous wing sauce yep. with the brown note. A, a oh, five man. wing, and that's the Jeff special. <laughs> the Jeff special. We came up with it, Jeff. Yeah, we have... We came up with it. We got the Jeff special. Five dollar wings with Thomas's famous hot sauce, with that, and that's the Jeff special. With, with a for, brown yeah. yeah, for seven dollars, come oh get man, the Jeff you special. Wrong about this man shitting his pants. Well, that's, looks like a. Uh, that's awesome. It's like a I like that can solid art. Solid stream. Yeah, it's nice. That's a good can art. All right, so this that's is, a steady stream of boo boo poo poo so though. Is, it's a uh, tall. It's a tall boy can. It is by Against the Grain Brewing from Louisville, Kentucky. Finish it, bro. And uh, you're on air saying Thomas A. Bear finishes it is, all it his It is called beers. the Brown Note. Hopefully, please note Thomas A. Bear is finishing this beer. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a picture of this can art up. Would you be I'm able sure to I do that? Find it, yeah. Because uh, it's hilarious can art. It's literally a guy just pooping his pants. So a steady a waterfall of it too. Uh, <laughs> he shit through his pants. Yeah. And uh, so, so the description of this beer it says, "Oh, the shame." This is the brown ale that ends all brown ales. Enjoy it because there's no longer any reason to drink another brown ale. You've reached the pinnacle, the disco bump, the brown note. Drink <laughs> drink this beer or shit yourself trying. <laughs> the disco bump. <laughs> so drink this beer or shit yourself trying. That's, I think it's a clever so, marketing So come in the lobby CF it. for the Jeff special. We need to get that going. I don't really want to be known for pooping come on, pants, dude. but you're, all right. You're, you're already, I can't bleep that whole section out. Be- <laughs> anyway, that wraps up another episode of Behind the Par. <laughs> Very intimate and revealing. Thanks for the story, Jeff. No problem, man. Thomas, any any last words? <laughs> yeah, I'd just like to thank you guys for inviting me onto your show. It was nice to get out of the kitchen for about 25 minutes on shift, sample some beer. Cool. And, uh, Glad to have you. Appreciate it. Hopefully thank you. you can, hopefully you can make it again soon. We get kind of tired of David always showing up. Yeah, well, I'm here five <laughs> days a week. So. He's always showing up. <laughs> like, fuck. I'm here five I'm days kidding. a week. David, we love you. David's actually really good on the yeah, show. David, yeah, you're really good. David's probably better than me. Yeah. I'm, I'm Until more Until it came to well balls and goat dung. Yeah, why wasn't Sheep he as dung. excited about that as we are? Wait, goat dung here? Tell him. It's, it's a whale ball smoked over sheep's dung beer. beer. So it's, it's whale testicles. Yes. They smoke them over a fire made with sheep poop <laughs> and then they brew a beer with it and I want it so bad it's called Valor 2 is this yeah. beer that you would not trade for whatever expensive beer you got downtown this is literally I would I would trade Bourbon County Rare for a Valor 2 <laughs> oh, 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 alright no I wouldn't but maybe I would <laughs> no you would maybe I would you, you know would. I probably would with Hunapoo I'll throw in two Hunapoos if anybody has this beer I need it I want to try it it's probably going to taste like it. smoked meat I would, I would imagine. Or smoked shit. It might taste like shitty meat. <laughs> or stinky socks. You know what? I, I actually think it's going to taste like I just made a, I just made a, with my crock pot a chicken. Uh, yeah, that's a A chicken uh, teriyaki, like a sweet teriyaki chicken. Yeah. And I put uh, apple cider in it. And then I put some pineapple juice and some other stuff really? in there with teriyaki. So it came out really great. But I have a feeling it's going to taste almost like beer cooked with meat. In a crock pot for 10 hours. And then we're going to try it. And we're going to be like, this is the worst beer ever. But, it. but it's whale ball beer. We have to try yeah, it. We got to try it. Push life the on the edges. edges. Yeah. We got to push the edges of it's what we can try. It's the weird beer. beer. That's the king of weird that beer. That is we right have to now. Have that is the pinnacle of weird beer All for right, me. All right. So, David, next, every time we Get see you, dude. Get us this whale ball. Come on. I'll throw, in, I'll throw in money for it. Let's do it. I won't actually give you rare, though, for it. But if you can find it, I'll give you something cool. His last no. No, fuck that. It's mine. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks for listening and watching, if you were watching, kind of, on YouTube. Or if you were here, creepily we're here, looking yes, at us right now. We were recording the whole time. Uh, it's going to be on you. I'm putting it on YouTube. 
with pictures and stuff. There's no camera there, dumbass. Oh, what the, there's a, it's a MacBook. <laughs> anyway, no. anyway. Screen. see you guys next week. Next time you guys hear us, we will hopefully be with Ryan Parker of Red Cypress doing a kick-ass fucking interview. Maybe get some free swag. Anyway, thanks for listening and watching. Till next time. See ya. Bye.